This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Lola Lee T. How are you guys doing? Well, both Krishan and Little Mabu had a whoops moment. Little Mabu posted some pictures of him and Krishan on his Instagram to promote their new song. By the way, their song has over 5 million views in only four days. That is very, very impressive. But what is interesting is the internet detectives noticed something was different with one of Krishan's tattoos. This tattoo right here, it used to say Jonathan's cat, but now it says Mabu's cat. Now, the internet detectives started tagging Krishan, so she commented on the post. She wrote, did you put Mabu's cat? And her comment has now been deleted. Did she delete the comment or did little Mabu delete the comment? I don't know. But what's strange is why comment on the post and not contact him directly? So was she indicating this was a Photoshop situation or was this more of Krishan's way of covering up their mistake of showing the new Mabu tattoo? So at the beginning of the situation, I was thinking maybe Mabu had a simple crush on Krishan during the Instagram lives. He was really flirting with her, gushing, making her laugh, just kind of, you know, just showing his interest in her. And I just thought it was just him crushing on her. I didn't really think it was more than that. But I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on here. But this is big. And if it was a Photoshop situation for him to feel like he could do that, that's interesting to me. And if it wasn't a Photoshop situation and she actually did replace the name, that's something else too. Anyway, let's move on. Now, Dre, who is Blueface's brother, has entered the chat and he is very upset about the situation. He is thinking that Little Mabu and Krishan are now together. And this is what he had to say. He said, this don't make sense to me, but I'm happy for you and hope this works out for a long time. And you make each other very happy for real, rooting for you. He also had this to say. She stopped right before she got to the money. That's when my brother started to tune in. Like, oh shit, that's the only thing my brother's really focused on. He has a strong, intimate relationship with money. You feel me? So he didn't really see, like, he just oblivious to like, oh, she getting rid of it. And she doing it subtly. Like, she's really a manipulator. Like, I, the reason I, I fuck with her is because... She don't just try to manipulate. She's a really good manipulator, my nigga. Like, on a high level. Like, she got half of y'all food. I'm being honest. Like, that's why I really have a lot of respect for her. I'm like, anybody who has this power, this much of a superpower, that could bend and manipulate the truth this well, has to be special, bro. I can't knock her gift. That's her gift. You know what I'm saying? But I do have to point out to the people when they when she using her, when she misusing her gift for wrong, right? I be trying to keep it square. Because wrong is wrong and right is right, my nigga. End of story. <laughs> When women come into a man's life and they, a nigga got a baby mama and the mama's involved and the mama's rocking with the other baby mama, she got to go. When the brother's involved and he rocking with the other baby mama and I'm trying, anybody who's not rocking with this love has to, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's like, if nobody has sympathy for you, it will make you have a lot less sympathy for people in the world. You know what I'm saying? And who has sympathy for Blueface? Just, I mean, I'm waiting for anybody to really raise their hand. Like, who has sympathy for a lot of people who are rich or famous or, or for? Because it's like, you look at them, it's like, oh, yeah, they got everything. They could just, but these are still human beings, man. Again, this being my brother, I care for him. I know that this is a human being. So, it would, my brother just has trust issues, bro. And the trust issues ain't his fault. Like, it, it'd be a lot of people, it'd be greed. When you work in your nine to five job and you think, oh, this nigga could hand me five bands just because he liked a joke that I said or something. That's how a lot of people think. They start thinking about money. Like, whenever you meet a rich person, the first thing you think is money. Like, maybe I could ask for a Christmas gift. Are you trying to think about a way to get some money from this person? Like, even if it just be little shit, like, hey, I'm trying to get him to pay for the food or whatever the fuck. It's, you know what I'm saying? When it becomes exaggerated and over a long period of time, that shit is, is dehumanized. He wasn't done. Blueface brother Dre had a little bit more to say. He said, someone explain this to me. What in the 2023? I'm sorry how you all sliding for a person that got two different dudes name in the same year in the same spot. I'm not talking crazy. Genuinely just confused. And then he has the picture here. 
And then Krishan's ex-boyfriend, Ronnie Doe, posted what looks like a picture from Krishan's backyard at her house. Can the Krishan detectives or investigators please confirm this for me? Is this Krishan's backyard? Let me see. What did Ronnie Doe say here? He said, I had to fall back just to get on track. So I'm wondering what's going on overseas with Krishan's new boo. Because remember she said in some other videos that she had a new boo. Anyway, then we got Blueface out here just showing his food. And going back and forth with little Mabu. Well, uh... That's what the fuck I'm talking about. So like I said, Blueface and Little Mad Boo have been going back and forth on Twitter for several days now. So Blueface tweeted, have you ever seen Malibu's Most Wanted? Mabu responded, have you ever seen Family Guy? Mabu responded to Blueface's tweet of I love money and he said, me too. I like Blueface's money, so I took his baby. Blueface responds, I know a fan when I see one. And Mabu responds, I love all my fans. Thank you for number one on YouTube. Keep streaming, Mr. Take Ya B. Then we got another tweet from little Mabu. And he basically posts Stewie from the Family Guy. Uh, family Guy, Stewie gets plastic surgery. He says, this is what I was referencing. And then Mabu retweets the picture showing that Krishan got a new tattoo and Mabu has commented on it. And he basically said, please respect our privacy. He doesn't say this was a Photoshop or anything like that. All he said is, please respect our privacy. And I'm sure Blueface saw this because he hasn't blocked Mabu on Twitter, but he has blocked him on Instagram. So I think Mabu is going to continue to troll Blueface. What do you guys think about this tattoo on Krishan? Do you guys think it was a Photoshop thing? Or do you think there's something actually going on between Mabu and Krishan? And what about the Ronnie Doe picture? And what about the man overseas? What are your thoughts? Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.